you know, like every year you feel great, right? Right after you make the picks, you've got your list. This draft went really well for us. Uh, just being able to sort of add to our board in the, in, you know, with what we felt at the time and every spot was the best player available. Uh, some guys that we really liked the potential for down the road, uh, some of them a little bit of growth. And you know, I think there's some pretty special players there, especially a little bit later in the day. Um, and it just worked out. I mean, that we ended up really balanced, right? Like we got the same amount of players basically in every position and uh, other than the goalie, but we took a kid that we really liked to represent a team Canada this year from Sudbury. So it's, uh, it was one of those days that, you know, at the end, everybody was pretty happy. You saw the, the kind of uh, response from all the scouts and how, how excited they were. No, it, it, for us, and you look at our seven years, it's, it's never necessarily where people are born. It's, it's you know, we had, uh, that, like that Sioux team from last year finished second in the province. So there's a lot of great players on it, right? And we were able to acquire some of those guys. And the team they beat, Vaughn, you know, you saw a lot of their players drafted as well. So I think th these are guys that were on everybody's list. And then obviously, uh, you know, Mason here in town had, a, had an outstanding season. He was the NOHA Player of the Year. Uh, put up a great year production-wise, and, and you know, then Mateo last year played as an underage with the U16 team here in Sudbury, and then he went and played on that sort of powerhouse Barry Colts team, represented the country. So, it just the talent was really good, and, and you know, it was just a an added bonus that they were from the north this year. I mean, it's it's not just this past season. I mean, you look at our our results that we've had as a team, and and that translates over to players and the success they've had at the NHL level and moving on beyond the OHL. So. This staff's been pretty much together now since uh, we started in 2017, and it's a great staff. It's small, but as you see, it's very passionate. Uh, they're not afraid to share their opinions with each other. Uh, it gets it gets pretty uh, it gets pretty excited at times in, in the discussions. But that's one of the things I love about these guys is you know they they put it all out there for the Sudbury Wolves and uh, they, they you know they feel and wear every single pick and. And guys that they love, sometimes, you know, we don't get them. They go just before, and, and you, you can see it on their face, right? Because they spent a lot of hours driving around, and we couldn't do this without them. Very happy. I think we, we addressed pretty well every area that we wanted to look at for this draft. We got a bit of scoring. We got a bit of size. We got an overall compete level that we're look, always looking for. Um, the local, we got some local kids as well to, you know, create some fan support and that kind of thing. Um, overall, I was very excited about what occurred. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get some, you know, excellent players. And as it turned out, they were from, you know, the north and, and local local areas. So we're excited about that. Um, I think for the most part in the draft, you're going best player available, especially in the first maybe five to seven rounds. And then after that, you're looking at how you're overall prospect pool works so that you have enough players in certain positions so that as you know players graduate um, you still have some players to uh, bring into your lineup yeah it's we have a great group of guys they put in a lot of hours on the road and um, you know they're passionate about what they do they you know, take time away from their families and um, you know, I'm always excited and we're a great, you know, we, we all get along. We have differing opinions at times, but when it comes down to it, we're trying to do the best for our organization.